As Obama is gallivanting around Texas, fundraising, patting himself on the back, acting like a damn fool, quite frankly. Absolute embarrassment. The plans for the Martha's Vineyard vacation next month are coming together. I thought you'd want to know. Washington Times, Obama's taking a 15-day vacation in Martha's Vineyard next month. What the hell does he do? I mean, ladies and gentlemen, he is a one-man wrecking ball, but even this one-man wrecking ball doesn't work that hard. He just barks out orders. This is amazing to me. He gets up, his first meeting's 10 a.m. most days that we're aware of. He'll get up 7 a.m. on his vacation to play golf. Taking a 15-day vacation in Martha's Vineyard next month, despite the widespread criticism he's received for not visiting the U.S.-Mexico border while it descends into chaos. He could give to you-know-whats. The Obamas will leave Washington on Saturday, August 9, and stay at a $12 million vacation home in Martha's Vineyard until Sunday, August 24, the White House confirmed late Wednesday. The man who worries about inequality, this, this is just so disgusting. You wonder what it's like living under a king? You are. The president is expected to return to Chilmark and stay in a secluded house off North Road that overlooks the North Shore and Vineyard Sound, the Martha's Vineyard Times reported. Though not confirmed by the White House, the Obamas are expected to stay at the home of Joanne Hushman at 72 Gosnold's Way off Prospect Hill Road. The seven-bedroom, nine-bath, 8,100-square-foot house sits on a 10-acre lot and is assessed at more than $12 million. Now, there you have it. Inequality on display, quote-unquote, carbon dioxide out the wazoo, all kinds of methane in that house going on. They're not a word. Not a word. Features 17 rooms in total, expansive water views of Vineyard Sound, an infinity pool, a hot tub, dual tennis, basketball court, the weekly newspaper reported. And rumors about the first family's visit began circulating around the island in March. And the White House began arranging for lodging this spring. That travel office at the White House must be damn busy. What with Michelle and the girls and Barack working so hard. President's extended vacation comes as the flood of illegal immigrants continues to cripple the United States southern border. Hey, he doesn't give an S. No, he doesn't. Doesn't matter to him. He's above it all. This is one cold-blooded guy. Senator Ted Cruz jabbed the president Wednesday by tweeting Google Map directions to border towns for Mr. Obama's planned fundraiser stops in Austin and Dallas. Ah, boy. I want to thank all of you who voted for Barack Obama, and I say this with the deepest amount of sarcasm that I can muster. You damn fools have destroyed this country. You wanted something for nothing. Now you get nothing. Damn fools. Really? Just disgusted with people who voted for this guy. Not once, but twice. Meanwhile, Martha's Vineyard, I don't believe, is taking illegal aliens. I don't think they're flying any of them there. I don't think they're boating any of them there. Obama goes as far as he can away, away from the the chaos that he creates. He doesn't pick a border town. They're nice border towns. He doesn't pick a poverty area. He just, no, no. They're on vacation, Mark. Come on now.